Huh. What if I told you you actually could work 24 hours a day without sleeping, make way more money, and have way more energy all at the same time? Want to find out? Stick around. Hey guys, Justin Nelson here, CEO of Sphere Rocket Virtual Assistants with part number three of why you should be hiring virtual assistants. Now this part's very controversial, but before we dive into it, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell button, get subscribed so you guys can learn all the virtual assistant tips and tricks. Now, with that being said, I said, what if you could get 24 hours a day of work in and feel more rested and energized than ever before? Well, here's how you do it. You do it by hiring virtual assistants. One of the biggest misconceptions around virtual assistants when you get a virtual assistant from somewhere foreign like the Philippines etc is what time zone do they work on right what time zones do they work so we've talked about this in some other videos but the premise of it is is like when you go to the Philippines much like in America in America we want our kids many times like this societal norm is become a doctor become a lawyer become all these things in the Philippines like parents want their kids people want the nighttime job. So over there, it's a night shift for them, but they're working for US-based companies, which is for way more money than what they could make for their local companies. And so with that being said, when they grow up, they're looking for these jobs. And so the only reason I share that is because a lot of times people won't hire VAs because they're like, well, they're working their night shift. They must not like that. I'm gonna tell you right now, over there, it is night and day. People prefer that many times. It works out many times better for their kids. For example, if you have a uh, mom who's taking care of her kids um, and the husband may be working in a call center or out and about as like an engineer, for example, one of the things we see a lot of is, you know, they can be a stay at home mom. They can take care of the kids um, after their shifts. But then when the kids go to school, they're sleeping all day and then they're working all night while their kids are sleeping. So a lot of times they prefer this. Now, why do I share this? There are many cases where you can take advantage of both situations, nighttime work and daytime work to your advantage. Let me give you an example of this. Obviously 90 plus percent of my virtual assistants work a nighttime shift in the Philippines, which means they're working a daytime shift here. You know, those are people where they're communicating with my clients, they need to communicate with me, they need to do all these things. But I do have some virtual assistants that actually work daytime in the Philippines which is nighttime here. Let me give you an example. Right now, I am currently sitting in my office. I got a camera in front of me and I got Dan, my videographer here, who is taking all the shots. He's taking them off, putting them online, obviously helping me educate people like you. Now, Dan does not do his own edits. He does on some videos, but not all of them. So if you guys watch this channel, check out our vlogs here. He does a lot of those, but the virtual assistants do 90 plus percent of all these edits, all these fancy things you see popping around the screen, how clean it is. That's all done by virtual assistants. And so in order for us to pump as much content out as we do, we take the footage right here. As soon as we hit the end of the recording, Dan puts it on the computer. And then tonight, all night, the virtual assistants are gonna be working. And then by tomorrow, I'm gonna have all the footage we shot from today. If I had my video editors working at the same time I was working, then we would both get off at five. The footage would just sit there and then they would start working on it tomorrow at 8 a.m. and it wouldn't even be done till 5 p.m. So we have this lag time of content. And so one of the pros of hiring virtual assistants is you can put people in different positions. Let me give you another example. A lot of times you guys that have service-based businesses where calls are incoming to your business and they come in a lot, right? A lot of you have offices where you have a single admin manning the phones from eight to five. Well, what about the calls that come in at 6.30? What about the calls that come in at 7 p.m.? What if you could stand out from the competition and be able to house all those different times? And so many times when big companies come to me, especially corporations or, you know, like roofing companies, tile companies, construction companies, you know, we will staff their office from 5 a.m. to noon with a person, then we'll staff someone from noon to 8 p.m. And so when you see that full staffing, now your business is open from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. Can you even imagine how many more jobs you could get? What if you, as a contractor, just got one more construction job for 30 grand? 
does that pay that eight grand salary per year for your VA? Because remember, if you're only paying a VA four bucks an hour times 160 hours a month times 12 months, that's only about seven to nine grand in general that you're paying that VA. What if you got one more $30,000 job? What if you sold one more $15,000 house? What if you sold a hundred more of whatever you're trying to sell from that? What if you sold one more, right? And it's because of that coverage time. And so when you think about it, one of the advantages of virtual assistants is because, especially in the Philippines, they, they so crave that nighttime job. So many people also crave the daytime job. And so it's a really unique economy where when you look around the US, like it's really interesting. My current girlfriend, she's an RN and she works the night shift, right? But there's not people just like massively applying for the night shift. And so, but over in the Philippines, it's the exact opposite. And so it's actually a pro, right? Try and hire a video editor in the US that works the night shift. It's, you're not gonna find it. And if you do, you're gonna have to pay a massive differential to be able to make that person probably do it of quality. And so there is so many benefits to where you can mold the time because over there, we call it the city that never sleeps. Whenever I'd go over there, it'd be midnight and you could find anything open at any given time. People flooding the streets, walking to work, kids playing in the park. It was just insane what I saw whenever I was over in the Philippines. It's so much more a culture that just never sleeps and you know works different shifts. It's almost like two different worlds. So with that being said, Justin Nelson here, CEO of Sphere Rocket Virtual Assistants. If I can ever help you in any given way, find, train, help, recruit, you get virtual assistants that could do these different things, maximize your time, give you more time back. As always, check the link in the description. You can chat with our team about how we can help get you these virtual assistants for just a few bucks an hour. So now we are on to part four of why you should be hiring virtual assistants.